Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Scanning the QR code is easy. You'll pull out your phone, point the camera toward the code, and then you retrieve the information. But what if you have to scan a QR code from a picture stored on your iPhone? In this video, I'll show you how to decode the QR code. Let's go. There are several ways to scan QR codes from screenshots or pictures on your iPhone. Before you begin, make sure the QR code in the image is clear and not blurry or obstructed. Additionally, updating your iPhone to the latest version of iOS will ensure you have the most recent features and improvements for QR code scanning. The first method is using the built-in Photos app. iOS 15 and later versions offer a native feature to scan a QR code from an image on the iPhone. Locate and open the app on your iPhone. Browse to the screenshot or picture containing the QR code. Tap and hold the photo to reveal the photo's details. This will often trigger the detection of a QR code if it's present in the image. If a QR code is detected, you will see a notification or banner pop-up with the QR code link or information. Tap on it to open the associated link or action. Another app you can use is Google. If you have it on your phone, you can use it to scan a QR code. But if you don't have it yet, install it on the App Store. It has a lens that uses image recognition to scan QR codes even from saved photos. You'll use either the Google Lens app itself or the Google app, which has lens integration and points it toward your photo library. Tap on the photo icon and allow Google to access the images on your phone. Select the picture containing the QR code, and then Google Lens will analyze the image. Once detected, Lens reads the QR code's data, which can be a website address, contact information, or any other type of information it was designed to store. Finally, Google Lens shows you the decoded info, like a link to a website or a copy of the URL. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.